What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you what in my opinion is the best farming method, the best farming guide to get the Silicon Neroma Exclusive Pyramidian Strike Sniper Rifle. Now we know of the addition of the 1.1.4 Gold Faster Update Patch, Nightfall Exclusive Rewards have been added into the game. This week's Nightfall is the Pyramidian, so it's loaded with Vex bearing Void and Solar weapons. It's also common knowledge that this weapon has an increased chance of dropping depending on the score you get within the Nightfall. Losing the challenge card and the prestige Nightfall is obviously the quickest way of obtaining this sniper rifle and today I'm going to guide you through exactly what in my opinion is the best farming method. But before we get into it guys, it's really important to me that if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like seriously helps me and my channel out. Also if you are a subscriber, hitting that bell button is a must for you guys to see my videos due to YouTube being YouTube and breaking things all the time, meaning sub boxes are no longer reliable. So please go ahead and hit that bell button, it does mean a lot. Okay, so first up, you need to get yourself the Nightfall scorecard by completing the Nightfall this week, either normal or prestige, it doesn't matter. So once you've obtained the scorecard, what you want to do is adjust it accordingly. Now, Bungie have said that the higher the threshold score met, the better the chances of having this weapon drop. Me personally, although I do believe this is the case, I don't think this is the best way to farm it. As above a certain multiplier, it just becomes tedious and how powerful some of the enemies are. And remember, with the Prestige Nightfall and the scorecard active, if you your entire fire team dies at a single time, you get sent back to orbit. I attempted the Prestige Nightfall mod with a 45 power handicap and it was absolutely ridiculous. You literally get one shot by every enemy. Now although this would be a fun challenge to try, I wouldn't suggest you set it this high to farm this Nightfall. In fact in my opinion, I wouldn't adjust the handicap at all. Leave the power handicap as it is at zero. As if you didn't know, each level within this handicap you raise, it takes it off your overall power level. So raising it to a 45 would mean you would be playing this Prestige 330 Nightfall as a power level 290 which is just craziness so leave it at a zero you also want to set the modifier as arc using void here is a no go most enemies within the strike use void weapons and they take you out so quick it's unbelievable but there's also the odd taken knight who spits flames at you which also drains your health too so using arc here is definitely the one to go with plus there's a few hydras that spawn in with those arc shields which can be a slight pain in the ass to take down you could also, to be honest, go with Solar, just be careful of them taking Knights. If you are using Hunters, Celestial Nighthawk and Golden Guns, these are great for taking down a boss relatively quickly, but again, even using the Golden Gun Celestial Nighthawk with Arc selected, you still do major damage to the boss without having to seriously watch out for them taking Knights. If you are using the Hunter, try and get as much resilience as you can though on your armor, you will need it. Again though, this just depends on the subclasses you are using. If you ain't using Hunters, don't even think twice about selecting Arc. Definitely the best to go with. Weapon setup again depending on the modifier you have selected. We used Arc so we went with Arc weapons. The Nameless Midnight is a super effective primary weapon I will say. Arc energy is really up to you. I use my Yuyo's gift just to spam enemies at a close range as it does get a little hectic in that last room. Power weapons are used as sins of the past but the Curtain Call or the Warcliff Coil here as long as they're Arc, obviously the Warcliff is Arc but as long as the sins of the past and the Curtain Call are Arc they are great additions to use. In all honesty with this setup we had no real issues besides silly mistakes. We also weren't really trying to get a high score either. I believe we ended with just over 50k and just stretching past the time limit as if you didn't know after 15 minutes your modifiers start to drop. At the boss we had a Titan drop his barrier so we could literally pummel him with rockets before it even moved. Doing this you could easily take off a bar of health to start with. Then you just need to be careful of the amount of adds that do spawn in. Use walls to hide behind, don't stay in the same place for too long and as I said with my setup used, energy weapons such as the Yuyo's Gift are great for enemies that come into your face. So it's a good option to go with. And this is also another reason to leave the power handicap at zero. I mean it's easily possible to extend it and do the nightfall, but it will take you much longer. So is it worth it when you're trying to farm it? I don't think it is. The definition of farming in the game and dictionary is to grind a certain location in as quick and relaxing time possible. That's what in my opinion this guide offers. I mean by all means if you want to raise the handicap that is completely up to you but me personally I honestly don't think it's needed. Now as I said me and my pals ran this nightfall about 5 or 6 times. The second time I reduced the handicap to 0. At the end of that nightfall we got just above a score of 50k. Both my teammates got this weapon. So there you have it. It definitely drops quite often using this method for sure. And that is it guys. My suggestions on setups to use to farm the Pyramidian Nightfall Strike to get this epic look 
fucking new sniper rifle, the Silicon Roma. And guys, that is it for another video. I hope this does help you out. If it does, leave a like, it really helps me out. Remember, subscribe and hit that bell button to never miss a video I upload. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.